Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today we have another perfume haul. First perfume haul of December and um, I know that some of you uh, took a sneak peek into my background and you saw that I got the new Remini Sans perfumes that everyone is talking about right now here on YouTube and so many requests to review this perfume. So here we are with a haul and a full review of the three Remini Sans perfumes and also I've got also three extra perfumes that in my opinion are even better than this so before we start if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and let's jump in so reminiscence parfum uh, i got this in a set that was the box i'm not gonna put them in because it took me half an hour to take them off so that's a box uh, this is just the 50 ml the 100 ml it's obviously bigger and it has a bow and it has a bow that's the only difference. So these are the bottles for the 50 ml, and we got here. Let's start with Gimov. I think it's pronounced Gimov, the pink one. I checked with Google Translate. This is how the lady pronounced Gimov. So I'm gonna say the same Gimov. Um, the pink one. This one is supposed to be the marshmallow perfume. So in this one we have almond, lavender, and mint. Then we have in the middle Neroli, Petit Grain, Jasmine and Black Pepper. And then in the dry down we have Vanilla, Tonka Bean, Musk and Sandalwood. This, first of all, the bottles are super cute, are so nice. Are ah, they, they look so nice on, on display. But the scent, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan, especially I'm not a fan of the opening. The opening for me yes it's sweet but it's more like mm, not, not necessarily a natural sweet it's more like a synthetic sweet but that mint note is just driving me crazy you're getting the lavender you're getting something a little bit powdery as well but that mint i really do not like the mint in this in in general i don't like mint in perfumes for me the opening smells like a mix between something very sweet and a little bit powdery and this is gonna sound so ridiculous but do you remember in like early 20, 2000s uh, those menthol sticks that you you just put in your nose when you had a blocked nose do you remember that i'm gonna probably insert a picture here because i sound so silly but this it reminds me of something very sweet and that type of medicinal menthol minty I'm not necessarily a fan, I have to say. In the opening, when you first spray, it's very boom. It's, it's in your face, okay? It's very potent. But then, when it dries down, that mint note is going away. It's going away. And I would not necessarily say that this one smells like a marshmallow. For me, it smells more like frosting. You know, the frosting from cupcakes, that it's very sweet and sugary, but it still smells artificial it smells like that for me i'm not crazy about this one i i like the other two better this one is my least favorite and uh, is the cutest bottle because come on it's pink it's adorable but the scent <laughs> that mint i think is just this strong the scent or at least it's just not for me it's just not for me it's different it's different but i will not say this one it's a full gourmand i will not say that this smells exactly like, mar like marshmallow for me it smells like frosting like vanilla frosting in the dry down it's nice it's nice in the dry down um like i said when you first spray this one it's boom it's in your face it's strong then it's getting closer to the skin and i think this one lasted on my skin around four hours so yeah i'm glad that i got just a 50 ml because this one i don't think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna keep it just to keep it just for the set but I'm not sure that I, I don't think I, I'll probably don't repurchase this one. But I'm not sure how much I'm gonna use this to be honest. Because see now that that mean note it's it's almost gone. It's getting better. It's getting better. But I'm not crazy about this one. So uh, Gimov is my least favorite. I'm afraid it's the cutest bottle, but it's my least favorite. Then we have Heliotrope. This has 
Fig, green oats, almond, heliotrope, patchouli, cedar, sandalwood, and dried down tonka, vanilla, benzoin, and musk. This one, should I spray this one here? I spray my hand. This, also in the opening, it's a little bit synthetic, but you're getting the heliotrope, and does it have sandalwood? Yeah, it has sandalwood. It's creamy, mm, vanilla. Still a little bit of a medicinal scent. This one, to be honest, for me, is better than the than the pink one. But this one smells, especially in the dry down, like a carrot cake. Yes, a carrot cake with frosting on top, with vanilla frosting on top. I like it. I like it, but it's not my favorite. Again, I will not say that this is a full gourmand, but it's better, definitely is better than the, than the pink one. The pink one has that weird, strange, minty note. This one still has, this one, does, does it have? No, this one has green notes. Mm, not necessary. Yeah, for me, it smells like um, carrot cake with vanilla frosting on top. And the frosting is that medicinal vibe I'm getting also from this one. I would say this one is better. It's better. From all of them, it has the best longevity and the best sillage. It's very strong when you first spray it and it stays like that the entire time. This one stayed on my skin around six hours. This one, I would wear this one. This one I would wear. It's not going to be my um, favorite perfume. It's not going to be a full gourmand for me. I'm gonna wear this one when with the pink one I really don't know what to do I think I'm just gonna keep this just for the bottle and that's it but with this one I'm, I'm gonna actually use it I do like the scent um, but it's still not what I expected I know I thought it's gonna be more gourmand and not that synthetic for me they're very synthetic so yeah that was Heliotrope by Remini Sans and the last one and my favorite one is Drage I think it's pronounced Raja. Again, I checked to Google Translate. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, this one is an almond perfume. So this one has mandarin, orange, cedar, and... Uh, what cedar? Guys, I'm so sorry. It's 7 in the morning. I'm like extremely tired. So, mandarin, orange, cardamom, and petit grain, almond, almond blossom, orange blossom, and plum, vanilla, musk, and cedar. See, I knew that it has cedar. This... Hmm... This one is the best. This is how I expected the other two to smell. This one doesn't have that synthetic note. It's very powdery and very creamy. You're getting the almond. Definitely you're getting the almond. It has musk. See, usually I don't like musk. But somehow in this perfume, it really works. This, for me, this one, yeah, it smells like almond. But it has that marshmallow quality. You know that powder? That it's on top of the marshmallow. It smells like that, but with a hint of almond. This, like I said, is not synthetic comparing to the other two. That the other two are like super, super medicinal, synthetic. I know this one is not. This lasted on my skin around six hours as well, but it's not loud. This one is softer. This one is very close to the skin. But this, I would say it's a good mind. This one, yes, I would say it's a good mind. I really like the scent. I actually really, really like this one. So, that's Draje, Draje, I think it's pronounced Draje, Draje by Reminiscence. Then we've got Gucci Memoir. I wanted this scent for the longest time, but I was scared because here on YouTube people had mixed reviews, mixed opinions, and some people really like this scent, some people say that it's absolutely horrible, I think and I'm pretty sure it's a unisex scent and everyone said that it's very different and green. If you know me, I don't like green scents, but I know, I just wanted to try this. So I got the 60ml bottle, yes, it's a 60ml, that's the box, I dropped it again, and that's the bottle. Look at this bottle, it's gorgeous. So this one has... Chamomile, bitter almond, musk, Indian jasmine and jasmine, sandalwood, cedar and vanilla. This, where should I spray this one? Let's spray this one here. 
this one is very different. It's green, but it's creamy in the same time. It's very hard to describe the scent. I do like it. I have to say I do really like the scent. I think it's very comforting. I think it's very cozy. It's more like a springtime scent, but definitely not a safe blind buy. It kind of smells like t-shirt, like fresh cleaned t-shirt and grass, but grass in the summertime, if that makes any sense. Honestly, it's very hard to describe. It's not your typical perfume. It's not your typical um, sweet perfume or green or woody or powder. No, it's a very, it smells like a memory, like the name, it's, they, they choose a, a good name. Yeah, it smells like a clean, fresh, clean, white t-shirt and grass in, in the springtime. That, that makes any sense? I don't think so. This you need to try. You need to try. I was very, very scared um, for this perfume that I would not like, but I actually do really like. I think if you like Chloe Nomad and Nomad Absolute, you might like this one because it's also a little bit earthy. It's different. So if you like that type of scents, go and check this one out. Don't blind buy it because I think it's not for everyone, but check this one in the store because I really like the scent. It's very, very comforting. I oh, know, I really like the scent. Um, it's pretty close to the skin. Longevity on my skin was around five hours, which I know it should be better because it's Gucci, but the price wasn't that high. I have to say this perfume, I think just because people are not buying it that much. Uh, I got a 60 ml bottle for around 30 pounds or something like that. So, and I saw all the time deals on this perfume. So if you're interested, go in the store, try this one. See how you how you like it, and if you do, go online because definitely you're gonna buy. You're gonna find um, a deal online. Yeah, I do like it. I do really like it. It's very comforting. I know it's something about this that I really like it. So Gucci Memoir, I do like this one. I actually do like this one. Then we have Valentina Pudre. This again, I wanted this for the longest time. I have Valentina Pink. And I really do like that scent. And now I got Pudre. Love the bottle. Amazing bottle. This one has powdery notes, ambret, iris, tuberose, vanilla, sandalwood, and tonka bean. Guys, this one. Mm, this. If you're looking for the perfect powdery scent, check this one out. It's very similar though with La Perla. La Mia Perla from La Perla. They are very similar. I would say this one is maybe a little bit more powdery and sweeter. You're definitely getting the iris. It's sweet. It's vanilla. It's creamy, but it's very, very powdery. So if you don't like powdery scents, stay away from this one. But if you do, this is it's amazing. It smells like a, a blanket. It smells like something fluffy and pink and powdery. It's... I love this one. I love this one. I never thought that I'm gonna be into powdery scents and soft scents because this doesn't project like crazy. It's more like a soft, closer to the skin scent, but I do really, really like it. I don't know what's about this, but I do. Again, it's more so comforting and so pink and fluffy. That's the best way to describe this. It's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, it does last on the skin. It lasts on my skin six, seven hours maybe, but it doesn't really project. It's not beast mode. It has okayish projection, just okayish. Not amazing, but again, I think with this type of scents, with powdery scents, they're meant to be more close to the skin, more just for yourself, if if you know what I mean. Yeah. So Valentina Pudre, love this, love, love this one. And the last one we have. Nina Ricci Rose Extase. I do own the original uh, Extase. That one for me smells very, very similar to La Nuit Trezor by Lancome. This, people were saying that this is a dupe for Delina. And I wanted to see. So this one has red berries, rose, raspberry, vanilla, musk, and amberwood. This, love, love this perfume. 
it has yes it does has van, uh, delina vibe it has that vibe the original delina not the exclusive one but they're not dupes they're not the same this one it's raspberry and juicy um juicy rose love this love 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 this i think it's um it's gonna be amazing for the springtime not necessarily for now i don't think that's that that is that strong for the winter for the spring guys if you like fruity scents and if you like rose scents go with this one the rose in this is not super jammy okay but it's it's also not a fresh rose it's exactly in the middle it's a sweet rose it has vanilla and the raspberry and the red berries Oh, they're amazing. They're amazing. It smells so good. It has the Lina vibe. Yeah, it has that vibe. The original Lina, especially in the opening. But then when they dry down, they're completely different. The Lina is going one cent in one cent. In the Lina is going one way. Uh, Rose extends the other way. They they don't smell the same. Okay. So if if you want to do this, is not the way to go. But they're similar. They're similar in the opening do really like the scent and the bottle is also nice i i love the ah, the color the, everything the shape it looks so elegant it looks so nice i love love this one and it's also not expensive so if you're looking for a good cheapy rose raspberry fruity sweet amazing longevity amazing sillage go with this one so uh rose extas by nina ricci love 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 this one and that was it for today guys that was it please let me know in the comments if this was helpful because i know so many of you want to buy these perfumes and i want to buy them for a long time a long long time because not from youtube i actually saw them on frequentica i don't know how i don't know how but they were there and i love the bottle the scents are nice but they're not wow what the nicest one is the white one the drage Drage, drage. This one is, is the best one. The other two, they're okay. -ish. They're okay. -ish. Not the biggest fan of the pink one, but this one, if you want to get one and just to see, go with this one. If you can find the 50 mil, maybe get the 50 mil. I know the 100 mil has the bow and it looks cuter, but still, if you don't like the scent, what's the point? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, that was it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like always, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'm gonna see you in my next one. Bye-bye.